As a surgeon, I've been privileged to have been invited to co-chair this inquiry. Monday began as a routine week for me in Liverpool Hospital, where as 21 years now a trauma surgeon, I commenced a vascular surgical elective list. By 9.30, we knew there was a young girl shocked following a road crash. She was brought expeditiously to the theatre next to where I was operating. As the operation proceeded and finished, I reflected. The 17-year-old woman had started that day going to school with her father who was driving. Her blood on my gloves, the blood of the seven units, each donated by a separate Australian that had seen her resuscitated. But the body, abdomen open, a metre of bowel in a bucket, on her way to the intensive care unit. She just went back to theatre yesterday for the surgery to her L3 lumbar vertebrae which had burst. She was one of a hundred Australians who had been managed in a similar way on Monday. This was the first of the third week of the last term of school. Each month there are a hundred of us who won't be here. If their graves were on the green grass verge outside this parliament and each month we saw a hundred graves, each month a hundred graves, and each day we saw and reflected that were a hundred of us hospitalised for at least 24 hours, we wouldn't complacently accept business as usual. We would acknowledge what is otherwise a silent public health epidemic.